you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening, everybody, and uh, thanks for your invitation to the A3 session network development uh, of the FICE Congress uh, uh, in Palermo. I would like to show today uh, some recent uh, research results found by applying modern modeling techniques uh, to the development of uh, complex uh, telecommunication networks. This work has been developed by me, Professor Alessandro Neri, and Marco Allegretti, a young engineer recently graduated uh, at Roma Tre University. First of all, since there is little time for describing found results, let me share with you the main points uh, highlighted by this presentation. We'll talk about uh, NGNS, the object of uh, the performed uh, research. Then ABM, the modeling technique we are using in our work. We'll also say something about the status of the NGN development project in Italy. We'll touch upon the performed uh, simulation and the results of our preliminary analysis. And finally, we'll share some conclusions uh, coming from uh, our performed uh, research. Our starting point has been a clarification of the meaning of this widely used uh, term, namely the NGN term. In the common understanding, uh, NGN is uh, something dealing with key architectural evolutions uh, related to core and access networks. Also, something related to the concept of a single network carrying all the information and services in accordance uh, with IP protocol after their encapsulation into packets. Of course, the definition includes uh, a large number of features whose the most important, uh, according to ITU, are, for example, separation of control functions, the broadband capabilities, the interworking via, via open interfaces, support for mobility, uh, unrestricted access uh, to different service providers, convergence between fixed and mobile, and compliance with all uh, regulatory requirements. Let's say something about ABM, namely the tool we have been using in our research. ABM is an emerging, an emerging solution in modeling, analyzing the behavior of complex uh, systems using uh, a so-called uh, ground-up approach and uh, a modeling technique based on the concept of uh, agents. When building an agent-based uh, model, uh, we associate the changes in individual components, uh, the so-called input, to the changes of the resulting systems, the output. And a very important feature shown by ABM is the possibility to use it uh, to understand the so-called emergent phenomena, a feature shown by complex systems uh, due to the non-linearity in interactions uh, between uh, systems' uh, individual components. For a better understanding of the ways IBM can effectively use to model uh, complex systems development, uh, we have to bear in mind that in IBM, the state of an agent is a set of attributes and the interactions between agents are the topological expression of their behavior. Attributes define uh, what, is, what are agents. Behaviors define uh, what agents do. And behavioral rules exist in two levels, the so-called uh, basic and the advanced. 
you could certainly ask uh, at this point uh, why we have decided uh, to use ABM to study NGN development projects. Two issues here deserve your attention. First, uh, let me say that programs for development of NGNs are characterized by a high level of complexity. This means uh, performance assessment uh, with different objectives, means a complex uh, internal dynamics, uh, concurrence of public-private uh, partnerships in funding, high number of players, very high number of uh, interactions with very different nature. Second, uh, these programs uh, are well suited for ABM uh, built on uh, cooperation uh, schemes uh, for players uh, focused on the achievement uh, of both financial and social sustainability of uh, the required uh, investments. Let's now look a little bit closer to the situation uh, in Italy. The NGN uh, development project uh, is it's a strategic issue for the country. A dedicated organization has been uh, created uh, in effect by the local uh, regulation authority. And we have here Professor Francesco Vatalaro from uh, University of Rome, Tor Vergata, appointed by Italy's government as chair of uh, the mentioned uh, committee. And an, an important outcome of the committee's work has been the division of the country in three different uh, geographical areas named uh, clusters, identified according to the following criteria. Cluster one, high profitability. Cluster two, average profitability. Cluster three, low profitability. A closer look to uh, the performed research uh, through a description of uh, its context. You certainly have guessed the country, but let me point out that uh, we have chosen particularly cluster two, which is the region uh, uh, including 10 Italian cities with average population, precisely cities ranking from the 11th to the 20th position among those with greater population. An area where, an area cluster two, where both the elements uh, related to profitability and social sustainability can be found. And an area where it is evident the need for a joint initiative involving public and private investors and the necessity for a cooperation model assessed via key performance indicators built on the basis of value parameters of interest for the involved organizations. To build a simulation scenario used to describe the, the NGN development, uh, we have created uh, two so-called so uh, initiatives. The public one, addressing all the issues related to social sustainability, and the private one, focused on the return on investment. We also have identified uh, a number of different variables. Among them, I want you to focus on uh, sustainability, including all the information for public investors, and the most famous uh, return on investment, the classical financial indicator. In this simulation scenario, we also included all the main underlying economic forces and, of course, the best estimates available for the development costs of the next generation network. In the end, we've built a simulation model composed by 
the public initiative subnetwork, the private initiative subnetwork, and the so-called NGN deployment subnetwork, namely the simulation component uh, describing uh, operational dynamics and impacts on users. Here are some details uh, of the public initiative subnetworks. Includes agents like the government, the academia and uh, research labs. Describes uh, dynamics uh, related to both the technology and uh, the services. And is responsible for the management in the model of the public uh, sponsorship. Now, the same for the private initiative subnetwork. Here, agents are banks, investors, and the market. The dynamics uh, described is financial and uh, market uh, and, related, and related industry. This subnetwork is particularly responsible for the management uh, of the private investment component. Now, the same. Uh, in the end for the NGN uh, deployment subnetwork. Agents are service providers, the city, the company responsible for the contracted development, and uh, it describes the operational uh, dynamics, uh, impacts on the cities coming from uh, the NGN deployment, uh, and the delivery of the innovative uh, services uh, enabled by this network. Let's drill down now the core of the performed research by going through quickly some preliminary results of this simulation. We have performed several processing cycles and focused on emergent behaviors related to issues you see listed by this slide. Feedback me mechanism included in this uh, simulation were aimed at determining the right investment balance to maximize uh, the sustainability results associated to the public funding initiatives and ensure a good financial return for the private funding initiatives search for the right balance between the associated variables uh, have been carried on so that the return of service delivered and the return of the associated delivered sponsorships are both maximized. The analysis of the gathered results uh, show two very interesting issues. As soon as we reach the right number of uh, performed uh, simulation uh, cycles, the lever, I mean uh, the balance uh, between the mentioned variables, uh, shows a clear convergence within the 20%, 30% interval. The optimal choice uh, for splitting the NGN funding resources should concentrate from 20 to 30 percent of the total available uh, resources on objectives related to social sustainability and the remaining 80 70 percent could be used to get short-term financial results furthermore if a very low value of this lever is used, the investment, according to our simulation, becomes financially unsustainable. And I draw your attention here to the consistency with the results of the analysis, or the published analysis from the NGN Italy Committee, where it is shown that in cluster two, a single private initiative would not generate a self-sustainable business. 
Note that, on the contrary, with an initial value of the lever around the identified 20%, financial sustainability that also remains generally constant in time is attained. It should also be interesting in a quick comparison of the results found through ABM with those from linear analysis. In this last case, a superposition is usually performed, namely a classical linear analysis of the system and the, microsc and the microscopic links between agents. Well, no chance to discover uh, in this case uh, let's say, the macroscopic uh, behaviors that are the main objective uh, of uh, our analysis. This leads us to a better understanding of uh, how useful ABM is because it returns a both qualitative and quantitative uh, guideline for investments uh, in complex environments. To conclude my presentation now, I would like to draw your attention on the following simple results. Innovation creates complexity. And bearing in mind the famous quote from Aristotle, the sum of the parts is greater than the whole, we are learning now that the applicability of the theory of complexity to the study of uh, cooperation dynamics uh, identified as key elements of innovation business models uh, is essential. Uh, simulation results found within our research have shown very significant phenomena and trends, particularly we succeeded uh, using agents uh, to generate a quantitative, quantitative guideline to drive investments and interaction among players in complex environments. Ultimately, ABM has, can be considered a very effective tool for analysis, evaluation, definition of business strategies in complex economics environments. Thanks.